Hi friends, in continuation to our previous lecture about constituents of disaccharides, today we are going to take the synthesis of sucrose and maltose. Synthesis of sucrose. Now, we know that in market it is, in, it is an inexpensive product which is available, very cheap. But maybe you are not aware about the fact that it took decades to the people to synthesize this product. In 1953, the two scientists, Lumex and Huber, they were the first to, to synthesize sucrose. Before that, every time people started for the synthesis of sucrose, they end up with the synthesis of isosucrose. So stereochemistry is an important factor that was necessary for the synthesis of sucrose. Lumex and Ober they started with Briggles and Hydride. The Briggles and Hydride has been synthesized from 2346 tetra O acetyl beta D glucose. You can see that that glucose was protected using acetyl acetylation acetylating groups. Two, three, four, and six, and then it was treated with PCL5, that is an SNI type of reaction. Where you can say that hydroxy group was replaced by the chloride ion, and then it was treated with ammonia in ether and ammonia in benzene for the synthesis of an cyclic ether. In this molecule, that is. Uh, Anhydride, hydride, Briggles anhydride. This Briggles anhydride was treated with 2346 tetra. It was treated with 1346 tetra O acetyl The Briggles anhydride was treated with 1346 tetra O acetyl it, they were heated at 100 degrees centigrade for 104 hours. That was a coupling reaction and the addition product was obtained. That addition product was deacetylated. That was acetylated sucrose. The acetylated sucrose was deacetylated to get the final product that is sucrose. Now, the importance of using Briggler's anhydride was the formation of this cation that was main success in the synthesis of sucrose. The cation has been generated because the acetyl group present at carbon 6 has shown the neighboring group effect with hydroxy group present at anameric carbon and had shown the cation formation that when treated with fractofuranose give us the final product this protected the formation this protected the approach of fractofuranose to the benzene ring however in this synthesis Although it was the first synthesis, but only a yield of 5.55% has been obtained. So that was very low, but that was the first group to synthesize it. And at that time, it was a success. Then later, a new group came and they made a slight modification in changing the 1346 tetra O acetyl D that is number third here. Because this number third was actually a syrupy material, it was uh, it was not pure, it was syrupy, and it was believed that this syrupy material contains a number of impurities, and because of that impurities, the final yield was low. So what they did is they changed the syrupy material with a pure crystalline substance they used 1346 tetra o benzyl fractofuranose you can see that 
all of the styling groups styled groups they have been uh, changed and they are using the benzyl groups in instead of this and that was a pure crystalline substance they have used so this uh, change modification slight modification in the synthesis of uh, uh, the lumex and ober what they have done in 1935 this small change in 1964 has resulted in an enhanced yield and the yield from 5.5 to it reached to 5.5 to 6.5 percent later on a number of groups have used various modifications for the synthesis of this uh, molecule and it was later recently that a group came with stereo specific synthesis of sucrose over they have produced almost 80% yield with 80% yield their method was again a simple, simple coupling reaction that involves addition of monosaccharide glucose and fructose but what they did is they they have done the tethering on the rings so that there will be only one approach possible approach to reach for the donor to reach to the acceptor so you can say that they have protected all the groups and made it possible using a promoter only one coupling reaction only one site was available for the reaction and uh, by this they succeeded in developing a new since route for synthesis of the sucrose where they have used they attained an 80% product so in that case after deestylation deprotection when they have deprotected these groups which they have used in, uh, to protect to have the stereo specific synthesis there was a formation of sucrose molecule with 80% yield so finally they came up with a success story maltose synthesis now maltose has been accordingly synthesized as uh, we have said that it was the burglars and hydride which plays an important role for the synthesis of fructose the same burglars and hydride has been used for the synthesis of maltose this burglars and hydride uh, has been treated with tetra o acetyl beta gluco pyranose ring and heated for at 13 degree uh, sorry at 120 degree for 13 hours and that gave a product that was an acetylated product you can see in that case again this was done uh, the use of this was done because to get a particular isomer of this maltose however if you uh, see this there was one free hydroxy group that hydroxy group which was actually in the cyclic ether or epoxide linkage there that epoxide linkage that converted into an hydrox free hydroxy group and that um, molecule that was hepta o acetyl beta d maltose that hepta d hepta o acetyl beta d maltose was acetylated to get the final octa d octa o acetyl d maltose with a beta linkage and then the molecule was deacetylated to get the final product that is that was the maltose now in this reaction you can see that as uh, in in previous lecture we have said that the mutar rotation plays an important role to find the structure the, to illustrate whether a molecule is having the structure that is uh, the anomeric carbon at in any of the rings is free or not and if it can convert you know after hydrolysis if it can be converted into an aldosis or ketosis so that there will be the uh, that can reduce the tolnes reagent or benedictus re reagent so in this case it has been found that there is one anomeric carbon that is free and because of this free anomeric carbon the maltose exists in two isomeric forms one is alpha form and the another is beta form so you can say that it exists in alpha isomer 
and in a beta form that is 4 d glucopyronosyl alpha d glucopyronos now because of the free hydroxy group there is the possibility of two anomeric forms so it has been found that this molecule is having one alpha form and another beta form the alpha isomer has a specific rotation shows a specific rotation of 168 degree and the beta isomer shows a specific rotation of 112 degree so at equilibrium the mixture shows the meta rotation we say that the mixture is showing a um, specific rotation the uh, mixture equilibrium mixture shows a specific rotation at 136 degree so and this is how by meta rotation if a molecule shows meta rotation we can say that the molecule exists in different isomeric forms and that in this case is only possible because there was the presence of a free anomeric hydro group it has been found that it is the fourth carbon if you uh, for the synthesis it is the fourth carbon which connects it is the fourth carbon which connects and So we say it is 4 d glucopyronosyl alpha d glucopyranos so in this video we have completed the synthesis of sucrose and maltose i hope you understand it if there is any issue kindly do contact me on my number thanks for watching this video